My name is Mary Harvey. I'm a student midwife, and this is Charlene Campbell. She is a CPM of 35 years, and we are Safe Haven Emergency Villages, <clears throat> and, or else Sheaves. And we're a nonprofit that was that was uh, created by Char. Um, she's like I said, she's been doing this for 35 years. She was inspired by Robin Lim, um, which is like a modern day ter Mother Teresa. Um, she saw the need to help equip and uh, train families and communities to educate on how to respond to a mother in childbirth in the low resource setting. Um, SHEVES, which is us, we train um, mothers, families, and communities to be sustainable in their local areas by helping them learn how to respond and uh, reach out and helping them serve in the low resource or disaster setting. Yes, and our passion here at Sheev, um, Safe Haven Emergency Villages, is to um, help train women in these communities so that when or if, I mean, this is something we can't know ahead of time, but it behooves us to prepare for it, and that is to put in place some of these um, specific things that we are advocating, such as training uh, women and men to respond really safely to emergency childbirth. We've learned that this is a, a powerful way to reduce suffering and to increase um, really positive outcomes for mothers and babies in these potential low uh, resource settings. So what we advocate is that um, we want to train someone in every community and we also want to encourage family cloth and birthing cloth for mothers so that that will be available for them if they need it. So we're going to share just a, just briefly of what we're doing now and how we train. Um, go ahead, Char, you can share. So what we're doing now is we have a film that we've created. Um, it's in English. We also are creating a Spanish one and we're very excited about our Spanish film. Um, we have, we're right now working on a template um, our class on March 9th in Rexburg will, will be creating a template so that other women in other areas can literally run this class without us. We're both um, volunteers and, and we've been kind of hosting these classes, at least 12 of them or so over the last couple of years. But now it's kind of gotten to the point where we feel like it's, it's, it's up to the women in these communities to embrace this and volunteer to be a class host or a class organizer and we will help train you and set that up you know help you set that up in your community so that you can become um, better prepared and prevent some of these potential problems for mothers and babies in the future